ladies and gentlemen. Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. And we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Ten rounds among heavyweights. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this to be a great night of action. Sonny Liston so alert right now. I mean, look at his focus as he makes that walk that so many fighters dread. But he makes that walk down to the ring just so very alert. Muhammad Ali's self-confidence seems to just come through with each step he takes down to the ring. discussion about the need to utilize the jab. Why so? Well, first of all, he's a good fundamental fighter, and he's not a real physical fighter. So he understands where he has to be good. He knows he doesn't have, you know, great, great physical skills where he could just knock a house over. He knows he has to be good in this area, using that lead hand, the jab. Well played, straight right hand. Muhammad Ali can be so elusive, but Teddy, when he has been hit by power, he's got a great chin. Yeah, that's the problem that's discouraging. First of all, the first thing is the speed, the elusive ability. How do you catch him clean? And then, as you just said, you finally catch him, and it's like hitting something that doesn't give, something that absorbs greatly. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round, Great work offensively landing that combination by Muhammad Ali. Hey, you gotta see that Scores guy. well to the head with the right hand. <laughs> Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. If that keeps up, this is going to be a good night. The right hand scored by Muhammad Ali. Come on, and clicks of the talk. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. And we come to the end of the round. Ali's resting up after a round and where he was so very accurate. And Teddy, if you want to have one single quality out there, as an offensive fighter, accuracy is among the ones you want to have. Yeah, and to be accurate, nice that work, means team. you have to be calm. And you have to be Real smart, nice. that you know that you're putting the punches looking in certain good, specific good, places like for a reason. Keep and boxing moving, is Dave. not Keep just about moving. the strongest guys. It's supposed to be, and it usually is, about the smartest guys. Here we go. Round two is underway. Double jab by Muhammad Ali. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. And he returns on that exchange. A headshot blocked. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Sound 
jab by Muhammad Ali. Hit the body, baby. Body blow. Ali's left working well that time. Gets rid of that body shot. Both fighters told us that they want to have a similar approach early on here. They want to show a lot of varied attacks. Well, that gives them a better opportunity to be effective throughout the night. Rash is home with the uppercut. Muhammad Ali's got to be feeling the sting of that big, powerful hook. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Liston's punches are way off the mark. He's been committed to throwing plenty of them. He just hasn't been committed to hitting plenty of the target. No, and it's not like his opponent suddenly became the invisible man. I mean, he's right there in front of him. It's just that he's tired, and these punches are coming from left field, and guess what? They're not getting to the plate. And there's the left hand working well for him again. That makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. And we come to the end of round number two. Sonny Liston's head has turned into one big target for his opponent. Teddy, he cannot get out of the way of this attack. No, he acts like a guy who gets insulted if you miss him. You gotta let your hands go. You have to. You have to be busy. This, this guy is beating the shit at you. You have to go. And round number three is underway. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. A well placed overhand right. That exchange. <laughs> Ali's not just loading up, he's landing combination punches like he did right there. Wow, Teddy, he's got some great hand speed there. That combination was an example of it. Yeah, it was. You know, not a lot of power, not a lot of pop with it, but boy, it catches your attention. And you know what? That kind of speed can intimidate a guy and keep his opponent maybe from moving his hands later on. Halfway through this round. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Takes one to give one, he comes back with a right hand. That's a fierce jab by Muhammad Ali. Keep moving. How about that left hand? Hunting never hurt, does it with the hook. What a nice big right hand from Muhammad Ali. That, yeah, that looked good. Do that one more time. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Jump on it, jump on it right now. Jab Let's right hand. <laughs> Muhammad Ali with a huge right hand. Three minutes gone by in this round. He's beating you to the punch every time. You need to cut the ring off. Go to jab and land it straight. Okay? Jab straight. You need to move. Fighting his fight. Fighting on the inside with this guy. Now I want you to use the ring and keep your distance. Relax. Now you got to relax, all right? You're doing great, but just keep the pressure. 
Fourth round is underway. Teddy's scorecard reads three rounds to zip against him. You know, I think if you told him before the fight you're going to throw more punches than your opponent, he'd feel good. But right now, it's not working. Well, I think he's looking to take a picture. He's looking to go to a studio and do a photo shoot because somebody should tell him that after you throw a punch, you're not supposed to pose. Oh, what an uppercut. Teddy, he's not jabbing that much right now. That's got to help out his opponent. Yeah, you know, that's like giving him a free one. Because now his opponent doesn't have to worry as much when he walks in. No jab to keep him out. He's going to see the other punches coming so much easier when there's not a jab covering them. Oh, he is absolutely affected by that right hand. Never saw it coming. Worst kind of right hand you can catch. He should tie up here. Oh, and a big right hand land. Big, big shot he just scored with. Not a good sign. He goes to the canvas for the first time tonight. Liston's back up on his feet. What will he look like in the next few moments of this fight? That's the big question. Keep that head moving. Taking too many punches. Hands up. Left and right. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Muhammad Ali. Double jab, such a useful tool, especially to the body like that. He's tired. He's tired, Jeff. Come on, now's your chance. He's protecting his head well with his guard. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Muhammad Ali. And that does it for this round. Nice Ali's in control of things in his mind right now. Nice Just look work, at that Jeff. attitude nice over in the handle. corner. You can tell they want a repeat performance of that knockdown round they just had. Okay, now. Okay. You're good. You're good. Deep breath now. Are you leaving yourself open now? Throwing your punches wide. Keep tight. Keep tight. You good? Come on. You got to give me one more round. As he starts this fresh round, coming off a round in which he was knocked down, we often look at his legs. But sometimes even more telling was the disposition and the way that he and his corner acted in between rounds. Yeah, exactly. That's a good point, Joe, because if the corner's not confident, they're not calm, if they show panic, then of course a fighter absorbs that. Stunned, he could go down. Big shot. This is gonna take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. Liston's getting back up to his feet after being knocked down. Blocks that punch. Liston's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Look at Muhammad Ali and his ability. Look at that. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Fight is over. Muhammad Ali's power just much too much for his opponent. Another knockout for him.
I like the way he finished things tonight, Teddy. Muhammad Ali is your winner by knockout in a fight that he controlled throughout. Well, I'm glad you liked it. And just as importantly, or more importantly, his trainer, his manager, and his promoter like it because that means that he's going to be easy to sell now to television. That does it from ringside. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us.